SR6Y12 Video Software Instructions This software is used in our video software. Our program is in this folder. Open it. Click this video. Then SR6Y12 can be opened directly. First, introduce this and uh, other connections. Zoom in. The first we can convert the English version. English version is here. You can switch to the English version directly here. Then we can edit the software ourselves. Editing software can be found here. Select new to open another folder. The our main work is to use this complete program first. To connect to the camera first, click here. Then it turned out to be adding a camera. Add the camera directly here. Now it is directly searching for your camera. Then it can automatically search out. Now we are using this global camera one. Here also shows this camera after the camera comes. Here you can show its real-time recording, then it can be seen. Sometimes the camera may be reconnected, may report an error, may not be able to connect. You can open this plate to see the selected image quality. Sometimes it will initialize that, form this original quality image. We are now using this last 42. Then click to confirm it and modify this again. This is normally open. One picture taken in this continuous series. Choose the other first two. You can take pictures only if you need to be triggered externally. After this, we can take pictures continuously. Then click OK. Communication with PLC and the robot is to create a TCP here. We are now building a TCP server. ID is the ID of this computer. Then the interface is the same as the robot. Set 2000 interfaces. Then let the robot connect. When connecting with the PLC, we act as a client. For the client, the ID we set directly here is 192.168.0.1. The interface 3000, it is the same interface as the PLC, set to the same then connect. And this trick point. The camera needs us to take continuous pictures of that robot. Then the robot gets the data. Here is the 124 character command that the robot passed to us. We can trigger, can control the process one to take pictures continuously. Now we are using process one. We can click on this image because this hasn't started yet no images we can click there is a continuous photo on it image can be displayed it is showing the green icon if it works fine then if it is not normal it will be a red icon now let's do a demonstration image source Image selection is complete. Select this global camera one. It's our camera. 
then click and model bus communication. Click OK. Click the cross to exit. Now this match is done by its external shape to control the matching. Because this match is matching shape without color. So choose a gray image. I choose a box here. Visually within the bounds of this selection box. Compare the item inside. Then compare the output. To create a new template. Template 1 and Template 2. Template 1 is a square. Then the command should be 0. The output command is a 0. Then the output here. Here is a template 2, which is a circular directive. Here you can pass. Adjust its contrast to complete its simulation image output. If the contrast is low, it may be misjudged. Misjudgment will lead to other external factors. If it is high, it may be because of light light, camera or external light. It is also possible to misjudge, so you need to adjust. Then click OK to execute. Now, it's a visual identity. Visual identity also needs a template. Add the template. I'll do a demonstration. This is a page to add a template. Then we choose this again to select the next page under the current camera for recognition. Then we select this box and click. Circle the police that needs to be identified. Then the camera will automatically recognize the color recognition in the photo frame. Then we align it. Here is a white. I have set a white. Then if you need to create a new, click this plus sign to create new. Create a new template with other colors. After we have selected, click on the white. Add this in. Just add it in. Click OK after exporting. Automatic judgment. Follow up words and character recognition. For character recognition, we are now frame selection. It is also a training that requires a character. Box to select the numbers to be recognized. To confirm, click to confirm. Camera training and the camera records. Use the keyboard to manually enter the word we selected in the box. The robot camera will automatically recognize. Click to add. You can add it. Other parameters can be selected here. You can choose between black on white and white on black. Click to confirm. Follow up camera. Recognize in its selection box. You can identify the color. Here is a variable output. If the variable is output, it is because the coordinates of the camera are inconsistent with the coordinates of the robot. Y values are opposite. So here we are put the original workpiece coordinates in our 44 matching box. Fit in after entering. Then cast it to a negative value, then add a negative before adding, convert to a negative value, then click confirm, just save. What we output to the robot is a negative coordinate. After output, we're going to output the other machines like a robot or PLC. 
it needs to organize its output information and then format it. Formatting can be sorted out. After sorting out, we want to choose X. Let's say this is an app. Select its link here. Select information you want to output. Then add this info. Click to confirm. This way you can output the information. Know that the front needs to be identified according to the identification code of your PLC or robot. Need to add its prefix or suffix or something. For each machine, you need to read its menu. It's to see its identification information and so on. Click Save. Here's an output to the robot. We choose TCP server. Then output the content. Select the content we just formatted. Select Format. Formatting is an output result. Click it for full selection. Click Save. We can output the information we need to send to the robot. There is also information for making a distance judgment. We are using two lines. Compare the distance between two lines. Calculate the size of this shape. Here is a round comparison. Here is also the output of a gray image. Because most of the time, if you don't need color, basically all output gray images. Select a range box if the image is grayed out. We are in this range. Select a circle and it needs to recognize. It automatically recognizes the circle. We can adjust here. Here you can choose from light to dark. From black to white, from white to black, there is still one strongest. Can choose to choose to determine where the box it need is. Then this box we can confirm. Then after output, enter the confirmation after clicking the confirmation. Check in box. Then you can confirm. It's finished. Because the shot here is one size of the camera. Different from the actual size. So we need to collaborate through the calibration version. Scale the dimensions to perform a transformation. Then convert to a realistic size. Then let's do this collaboration version. Collaboration now. If the collaboration version is collaborated, what we are using now is a collaborated version of our original primary color. Now I put it out. Let's click to take pictures continuously and then update. After the update, when we first charge in advance, measure the distance between the two dots. Then do a conversion. The distance between our two points is 8, then an 8. The coordinate system is a left-handed, right-handed coordinate system. Mine is a right-handed coordinate system. And what else is here? The checkerboard calibration version also has a circle calibration version. We choose this dot, the calibration point to confirm. 
The center of this calibration version of it can also be selected above. We choose 24 because these two distances are 8. Then the two distances are 8 and up to 24. The midpoint of this circle that is precisely calibrated after reset generate a punctuation file. Then select the punctuation file to save. Say one 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 save. After saving, if we need to change it later, here I have connected it. Mark here. Select the one 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 we need to calibrate. Click to confirm. It can be calibrated according to the size of our calibration version to convert between actual coordinates and pixel coordinates. Here we can choose the data to be converted. We can choose the radius of the circle inside this circle transformation. Here is the radius. Select confirm and click confirm. The camera software converts the radius we output into an actual coordinate, then output to PLC or robot. Because here is the radius, so we output in the variable, convert its radius to diameter, then multiply by 2, 2, convert. So it is very intuitive to show its diameter size, square 2. A square is a straight line. We draw a square block. We now choose to find the longest line. Distance between two points according to the longest line to determine the size of its block. We choose these two. Then we select this line and the line segment of this line respectively. The reason for the choice is that the distinction method can be used here. The first row and the second row are from weak to strong, from white to black. You can choose by your choice. Determine that you need to find the edge of the line. And this camera, this correction line, match it up and click OK. This is a line to line measurement. Line measurement is to measure two lines we selected earlier. Connect its data. Output. Determine the distance between two lines. Use also a conversion to perform a calibration version conversion. The distance between the two lines we need to output. The calibration file calibrated by this calibration board is then converted. Convert to the actual size we need. Send actual size to PLC. Send this and click here. If we need to select other data, we can click this link here, select the data we need to send, then the click OK to save. They can issue. I am also connected here. PLC is the connected TCP client. Connect the data we need to send to send. All columns, all the comments we can choose here. Very convenient and intuitive. After selecting which one you want to choose, directly 
click and hold it, just take it out. Then we need to connect its wires. Make a judgment. Connect directly after judgment. Then the signal can be output. This is how the software works.